Originally scheduled for launch in June of 2000, Hubble's third servicing mission was going to upgrade and refurbish the telescope, just as the first two servicing missions had done. But in quick succession, Hubble's all-important gyroscopes began to fail. A Hubble emergency was declared, and servicing mission 3 was split in two. SM3A's main priority would be switching out all the gyroscopes with new and improved versions, while SM3B was scheduled for a few years later and would work on the updates that Hubble still needed but weren't as urgent. The eight-day mission had three spacewalks planned. The first was the gyro replacement, and by the end of the day, Hubble's gyro troubles were over. The next two days had their own spacewalks, updating Hubble with a more advanced computer, adding a new fine guidance sensor, installing a new solid-state digital recorder, and replacing the outer insulation in order to protect Hubble scientific equipment. When all of the work was finished, Hubble was released back into orbit on Christmas Day, and as the crew of Discovery landed at Kennedy Space Center, it became clear that this mission was a resounding success.